the graph of e to the x is the same as the graph of a to the x for any a, and it looks like this. That's the point 1. And this is y equals e to the x. And even though it's invisible, there is an asymptote running along the x-axis. So we need to be able to sketch transformations of this. Let's do some inside transformations first. Let's do e y equals e to the 2x. So that's inside the function. It's going to be a stretch. Actually, it's going to be a stretch this way because the scale factor is going to be a half, the opposite of what you think. It says double, so you don't, you half. So everything's going to squash in. So it's still going to go through 1. In fact, you can't even tell with this one. So this is just tighter. It's squashed in uh, that way, and it's squashed in that way, but it looks the same. What about uh, y equals e to the x plus 1? Inside, left and right, does the opposite of what you think. So it goes left 1. So it's going to look like this again. But this isn't going to be 1 anymore because that's moved left 1. Let's see what it is. Well, when x is 0, y is e to the 1, which is e. So this is the point e. What else could we do? y equals e to the minus x. That's still inside, left and right. And it's going to be a flip over the a over the uh, y-axis. So it's going to come down like this, and this will be the point 1. Right, let's try some outside transformations. Okay, so here is our e to the x graph going through the point 1, y equals e to the x. Let's try y equals e to the x plus 1. Now, this is with these outside ones, up and downs, you do need to keep an eye on your asymptote and make sure that travels with the graph because it is part of the graph. So everything's going to go up one, everything's going to go up one, including the asymptote. So this is now at y is one, the graph went up as well. This is now at two, it looks like that. Y equals e to the x, uh, should we times it by two? Okay, so there's a stretch that way, scale factor two. So the asymptote's still sitting there on the y-axis and everything's going to get twice as steep so this will now be 2, and everything, you can't really tell in terms of the shape, but everything's stretched upwards twice as far. Last one, um, minus e to the x, minus e to the x. So again, this is outside, and it's going to be a flip over the uh, x-axis, so it's going to end up with the asymptote there, going woo, down like that, and that's minus 1 there. Now we need to look at the graph of ln x. Now ln is the inverse of e. So it's, uh, the graph is a reflection over y equals x. So it's going to look like that. And this is going to be 1. This is y equals ln x. Inverse functions are always, uh, the graph is always a reflection over the line y equals x. So it looks like that. So roughly that's the shape. And the asymptote that's kind of hidden but does exist has been reflected over y equals x, so the asymptote is now on the y-axis. And what was 0, 1 is now 1, 0. Let's try some inside transformation. So learn x plus 1. So that's inside, it's going to go left 1. So we've got to be really careful to take that asymptote with us. Like that, it's part of the graph. The graph is the curve and the asymptote. So uh, this is now at minus 1. And the graph is going to go up and go through the origin and go off like that to infinity. And that's the origin. y equals ln minus x. So that's a reflection over the y-axis. So that's going to look like that. And this is now minus 1. And the asymptote is still on the y-axis. OK. Uh, y equals learn a multiplication, 2x. So that's stretching with a scale factor of a half. And again, you just you, you can't really tell with these stretches. The only way you can tell, you can't tell from the shape, but you can tell from the y-intercept, because that uh, x-intercept, sorry, that will have changed to a half, because everything gets half as big. Let's try some outside ones. Here's the original graph. Like this, it's got an asymptote down on the y-axis, goes off like that, goes up to infinity, it doesn't, doesn't tail off to the right, I haven't drawn that very well. 
sort of more like this, going up. Not, yeah, it's a hard one to draw, to be honest, like that. And that's point one. So f of, uh, uh, sorry, let's not use the f notation. Learn of x plus 1. If we wanted to sketch that, that's gone up 1. So the asymptote moves up 1, not that you can tell. And everything else moves up 1, not that you can tell. The only thing is, what is this? y is 0. Len x plus 1 is 0. Len x is minus 1. The opposite of len is e to the power of. It's e to the minus 1. Okay, what about y equals ln x minus, so that's a flip like that over the x-axis. So it's going to still have its asymptote there, but it's going to go woo, like this, and that's the point one. So you don't really, the only new information you need is what does e to the x look like, what does ln x look like. After that, it's just all your normal um, C1 transformations of graphs knowledge coming in here.